Hollywood, you're tuned in to Rise with India. I'm Ankita Saxena. And I'm Priyanka Uppal. And in this episode of Rise with India, we get you all the stories, all the economic developments that are contributing to India's growth story. Further on the show, we discuss what could be the possible impact on the supply chain of the entire India's textile and apparel industry amid the ongoing Bangladesh crisis. And last but not the least, we also have our RWI champion for this week, Amisha Vora, who's the MD and chairperson of Prabhudar Leela Thar Group. And now the big topic of the week, Bangladesh, which is facing its worst political crisis since independence in 1971, poses significant concerns for India's textile and apparel sector, particularly for the companies which are operating their factories in the neighboring country. This is what the Confederation of Indian Textile Industry said recently. Bangladesh is India's 25th largest trading partner with a bilateral trade volume of $12.9 billion per month. And the textile industry experts also suggest that the supply disruption to the factories in Bangladesh are likely to have an immediate impact on the supply chain, potentially affecting production schedules and delivery timelines. Well, to weigh in on the topic, we are now joined by Mr. Uh, Ishwar Subramanian, who is a partner and Asia-Pacific supply chain leader from Deloitte. Hi, uh, Mr. Ishwaran. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, so tell us, you know, the textile sector contributes a lion's share of Bangladesh's uh, export. What does the recent turmoil really mean? Can international buyers shift their focus uh, to alternative markets uh, like India? So you have to look at it in, in, in two perspectives. Um, uh, the first one is, I think, what is in the short term and then potentially the, the medium term, right? See, I think in the short term, given some of the uh, developments, which I think will get normalized soon, but given the short-term developments, I think there will be a, an immediate reaction from global buyers to look for more resilient opportunities. And quite naturally, given the adjacency that we have uh, in India and an ecosystem that we have, there will be a, a short-term tilt of buyers into India to take uh, you know, the requirements into the, into the festive season, which will also come up uh, in 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 the Western world, so that will be one um, opportunity that would anyway come to the the Indian companies or companies based in India, and uh, the uh, the competitiveness of firms in India will decide as to how that will be carried on into the future. Because once the supply chains come in and in a short term phenomena, how do they really ensure that that gets captivated for the long term will be a function of our competitiveness. So that's point number one. The second aspect that you should also understand is that there are also a lot of um, Indian companies who are actually having operations in Bangladesh. So I think by, by any estimate, I think anywhere between 20 to 25% of the companies in Bangladesh would obviously have, a, have an India origin. And to that extent, I think there will also be a, a shift of capacities into their existing facilities in India uh, by those uh, manufacturing organizations. So you'll have two implications. One is global buyers um, having an impact on supply chain uh, resilience and therefore, you know, a tilt to India. Second one would also be that Indian companies which are actually been uh, leveraging Bangladesh, I think in the short term will obviously uh, try to leverage their Indian capacities to ensure that, uh, you know, they're able to supply to their customer requirements. So these are the two dimensions that, that you will have. So in, 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 in our own estimate, I think if you really look at uh, the way uh, the, uh, the Bangladesh exports are, you're doing roughly about what, three and a half billion or so roughly on a, on a, on a, on a, um, uh, on a monthly basis. So therefore, I think even if you look at about um, anywhere between 10 to 15% coming in, you might end up with about, uh, you know, roughly about 300, 400, million roughly, maybe 300, 350 million coming into India. So uh, on, a, on a monthly basis. So I think it can actually contribute to another uh, three, four billion in the short term. But I would expect that, uh, you know, once situation gets normalized, I think the supply chain competitiveness will take over. All right. Uh, so Mr. Ishwaran, in such case, uh, what can be the possible impact of this crisis can create on the existing supply chain? Now, uh, can this political crisis have an immediate impact on the supply chain? 
See, I think, um, you know, frankly, from an overall supply chain uh, perspective, and I'm sticking to apparel and um, garments that you spoke about, you know, not the larger agenda, because if you take the larger India, Bangladesh um, um, supply chains, I think our portfolio of exports is a very varied uh, portfolio. It's not just focused on one or two. And to that extent, you know, what we are doing at about 11 billion or so on an annualized basis is across uh, a, a, a wide variety of portfolio. And therefore, to that extent, I think uh, we may not have an immediate implication from India's trade perspective. But if I take apparel and garments specifically, I think there will be a tilt of supply chains to the adjacent regions and predominantly India is in a good position to sort of uh, supply to global demand. So to that extent, I think there will be a, a resilience reaction from global companies and that would mean an immediate shift into some of the geographies in Asia, which are also fairly good in apparel and garments. So to that extent, I think I would expect a short term uh, a tilt of supply chains to these countries. Uh, the second one that I think also will be relevant structurally would be that, uh, you know, the, the country is also having um, a shortage of uh, dollars and therefore I think um, they have to also in the medium term, there will be some structural corrections that have to be made in those countries before, uh, you know, they are able to recaptivate that supply chain. So I would expect this tilt of supply chains to remain for some time in the geographies where they are going, be it India or any of the other countries and India is possibly best positioned to take advantage of it. So I would expect a tilt in of those supply chains to India. Well, all right. Thank you so much, Mr. Ishwaran, for joining us today. Uh, but with that, it's time for us to slip into a short break. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we are getting you our Rise with India champion. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.